the SR-71 Blackbird is not just an aircraft. It's a symbol of human achievement, a product of unparalleled innovation and a testament to what happens when ambition meets technology. Flying higher, faster and more stealthily than any other plane of its time, the SR-71 has earned its place in history as one of the most iconic and mysterious aircraft ever built. The development of the SR-71 was deeply intertwined with the political climate of the Cold War. In the 1950s, both the United States and the Soviet Union were engaged in a technological arms race, each side trying to outdo the other in every possible way. The US needed an aircraft capable of flying over Soviet territory and gathering intelligence without being detected or intercepted. In response, Lockheed's Skunk Works Division, under the leadership of the legendary Clarence Kelly Johnson, was tasked with creating a reconnaissance aircraft that could reach unimaginable speeds and altitudes. The result? The SR-71 Blackbird. While other nations had reconnaissance aircraft, none could compare to the Blackbird's speed and altitude capabilities. This aircraft had to be faster than anything that could threaten it, and higher than anything that could reach it. The Blackbird's design was as groundbreaking as its performance. At the time, no one had ever built an aircraft capable of such extraordinary speeds. It wasn't just an aircraft, it was a machine designed to operate on the edge of what was technologically possible. The skin of the SR-71 was made of titanium, a metal chosen for its high strength to weight ratio and its ability to withstand the extreme temperatures generated by high-speed flight. When the plane flew at Mach 3, the fuselage would heat up to over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit but the titanium skin kept it intact. The aircraft's distinctive black color wasn't just for aesthetic reasons. It was designed to dissipate heat and prevent the fuselage from overheating. In addition, the stealth characteristics of the SR-71 were ahead of their time. The plane's design minimized its radar cross-section, making it difficult for enemy radar systems to detect or track it. Every curve, every angle of the plane's design was meticulously crafted to ensure it could fly undetected. The SR-71's performance was unmatched. Its cruising speed was a staggering Mark 3.2, making it capable of flying over 2,200 miles per hour, more than three times the speed of sound. But speed alone doesn't explain the full story of the Blackbird's capabilities. The plane could fly at altitudes over 85,000 feet, more than 16 miles above the Earth putting it far beyond the reach of most conventional interceptors and surface-to-air missiles. To put this into perspective, if you were in a car driving at 60 miles per hour, the SR-71 would cover the same distance in less than 10 seconds. If you were flying at its top speed, the SR-71 could travel the length of the United States in under an hour. This extreme speed gave the Blackbird an unparalleled ability to gather reconnaissance data quickly and efficiently. While speed and altitude were essential, the true strength of the SR-71 lay in its intelligence gathering capabilities. The Blackbird was equipped with the most advanced reconnaissance technology of its time. It carried sophisticated cameras and sensors that could photograph and map large areas with incredible clarity. One of its most advanced features was the ability to detect radar emissions from the ground. The SR-71's radar jamming systems could identify hostile radar signals and send them back to military analysts in real time. The aircraft's cameras could photograph targets from high altitudes, offering unparalleled resolution. The SR-71 could photograph a target the size of a car from 80,000 feet up, capturing details so fine they could be used for strategic military planning. Despite its complex technology, the SR-71 was designed for speed, not complexity. It was equipped with a crew of two, a pilot and a reconnaissance systems officer, RSO, whose roles were equally important. While the pilot was focused on flying the aircraft at extreme altitudes and speeds, the RSO was responsible for operating the reconnaissance systems and ensuring the successful completion of the mission. The SR-71 was not just another aircraft, it was an extension of the United States intelligence gathering capabilities. The aircraft's primary mission was reconnaissance, gathering critical information from the enemy's side of the world. The Blackbird's speed and altitude made it the ideal aircraft for flying over hostile countries and collecting valuable intelligence without being detected. One of the most famous missions of the SR-71 took place during the Cold War 
when the aircraft flew several high-speed reconnaissance missions over Soviet territory. During these flights, the SR-71 gathered crucial intelligence that helped the United States understand Soviet military capabilities. In fact, the Blackbird's role was so critical that it often operated in areas where satellite reconnaissance was unavailable, making it an indispensable asset to the US military. Flying at such extreme speeds and altitudes wasn't without its challenges. The SR-71 had to be meticulously maintained to ensure that it would survive such extreme conditions. Even more challenging was the fact that the aircraft's mission profile often involved flying over enemy territory, where the risk of being shot down was high. However, despite these challenges, the Blackbird managed to complete countless successful missions without ever being hit. One of the most significant risks involved the aircraft's landing. Due to the high speeds at which the Blackbird traveled, its fuselage expanded and contracted during flight, meaning that the plane had to be designed to compensate for this thermal expansion. The landing gear was specially designed to handle the extreme conditions, and the crew had to carefully manage their descent to avoid overheating the aircraft. Despite its incredible capabilities, the SR-71 was retired from active service in 1998. There were several factors contributing to this decision, including the rising costs of operating the aircraft, the development of more advanced satellite technology, and the shift towards more modern stealth aircraft. Additionally, the United States military began focusing on aircraft that could perform multi-role operations, rather than a specialized reconnaissance mission like the SR-71. However, the SR-71's legacy lives on. Its design influenced numerous subsequent aircraft, including the B-2 Spirit Bomber and the F-117 Nighthawk Stealth Fighter. The principles of high-speed, high-altitude flight and stealth technology continue to shape modern aviation. Even though the SR-71 no longer flies, its impact on aviation remains significant. The aircraft's design and performance set the bar for future generations of military aircraft. It is remembered not only for its remarkable speed and stealth, but for the sheer boldness of its existence. The Blackbird was an aircraft that pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible, and it did so with style and precision. The SR-71 Blackbird's legacy is not just in its technical achievements, but in the spirit of innovation it represents. In an age of rapid technological change, the Blackbird reminds us that even the sky is not the limit when it comes to human ingenuity. It stands as a testament to what can be accomplished when engineering, ambition and vision come together to create something truly extraordinary. The SR-71 Blackbird wasn't just ahead of its time. It rewrote what time meant in the sky. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, legends never land. They just fly higher.